it's 27th of june today three new stories ethiopian election is becoming more controversial five political parties which contested june 21st election are accusing prosperity party of pm abi ahmed of interfering in electoral process Second new story is about Ethiopian dam. Ethiopia has completed the construction of middle block of this dam. Experts say that Ethiopia is now all set to start the second filling of this dam. Thirdly, some developments uh, about Tigray conflict. Some TPLF members and TDF generals say that victory is very close. But Ethiopian National Defense Forces, Ethiopian Air Force have started air strikes in several areas of Tigray. Let's look at the first news story. Uh, Ethiopian election was seen as a controversial election. Even before its holding on the 21st of June, uh, the U.S. had issued statements calling for uh, electoral reforms, uh, for uh, inclusive dialogue before elections. But elections were held. Now, internally, questions are being raised, viewers. Yesterday, five political parties which contested elections uh, raised questions about electoral process, which was seen on the 21st of June. The five parties uh, are Azima Party of Berhano Nega, Baldiras of Skander Nega, Afar People's Party, Nama National Movement of Amharas, and 50 Ethiopian Social Democratic Party of Professor Bijin. The five parties are accusing uh, PP Prosperity Party of PM Abiy Ahmed of uh, interfering in electoral process. Now, what remains to be seen, viewers, is will these five parties adopt a joint strategy or not? Will they accept election results or will they reject them? That remains to be seen. Azima has announced to go to the court, viewers, uh, and. Uh, uh, Ethiopian Social Democratic Party is calling for a rerun in SNNPR. So, so far, no joint strategy. But if five parties adopt a joint strategy and they reject election results, uh, this election uh, can become very controversial. Let's see what happens. Uh, coming days uh, are crucial in terms of uh, 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 the legality and recognition of election results. Secondly, viewers, uh, second news story is about uh, Ethiopian under construction dam. Ethiopian authorities uh, were uh, preparing the dam for the second filling. Construction work was underway on the middle block of this uh, dam. Viewers. Now, reportedly, several uh, experts are confirming that the middle block uh, construction work on this block has been completed so now ethiopia is all set to start the second filling of the dam there are no infrastructural issues now the middle block has been raised to the specified uh, elevation and now uh, the second filling can be started by ethiopia july is very crucial viewers because in july Election results are due to be announced. Uh, then the dam, a second filling of dam is going to start. Tigray war is spreading as well. The month of July is very crucial for Ethiopia. Uh, last news story is about Tigray viewers. Uh, today, some key figures of Tigray Defense Forces and uh, Tigray People Division Front appeared, and all of them are claiming that uh, victory is near and one of these persons is a key man viewers his name is uh, major general uh, tikle birhan tikle birhan has been off air uh, for several months today he suddenly appeared on twitter viewers and he he has worked as the head of insa which is Ethiopian Cyber Security Agency. So he's a key man, viewers. And today he appeared on Twitter and he said that two thirds of Ethiopian National Defense Forces uh, have been destroyed. He said Abi's army, 75% uh, 
of it has been destroyed and victory is very close then professor kindaya uh, who is uh, a macal university professor who has joined this war in the battle of tigray he has also said the same thing he is saying that from macale to uh, sikota tigray defense forces have secured huge gains and victory is near very close third viewers uh, Colonel Gabri of Tigray Defence Forces. He uh, held a press conference, an audio interview. In that interview, Colonel Gabri claimed that uh, since the 23rd of June till today, Tigray Defence Forces have stuck heavy blows to Ethiopian National Defence Forces and Amhara forces. Colonel Gabri said that. Uh, fighting took place uh, in areas like abedi uh, then areas which are close to tigray amhara border their fighting took place as well like finnarwa and chile and kalgabre says that 23rd 24th and 25th divisions of ethiopian national defense forces and uh, some battalions of 12th division and uh, amhara militia were part of this fighting one uh, special uh, unit of uh, one special brigade of commandos uh, was sent from suluta suluta is in oromia views colonel gabri said that from oromia from suluta oromia one brigade of commandos was sent to uh, amhara state and uh, this commando brigade tried to enter tigray as well uh, from lali bela it moved towards uh, tigray viewers but this commando brigade has also been destroyed according to colonel gabri so colonel gabri says that uh, uh, ethiopian national defense forces they are down and out and tdf are all over tigray uh, Now, we are uh, Ethiopian National Defence Forces have resorted to bombing air strikes. Uh, air strikes are being reported in several areas uh, uh, near Machio town, Mihoni, Chile, and several other areas. Reportedly, Ethiopian Air Force has carried out air strikes. Civilian casualties could increase because. because Ethiopian National Defence Forces are finding it difficult to keep their supplies flowing. Tigray Defence Forces are pushing them out of central Tigray, and TDF are moving towards Tigray Amhara border areas. TDF are trying to cut off supplies from Lali Bela, Sikota to Tigray. So that is why Ethiopian National Defence Forces, Ethiopian Air Force, has stepped up air strikes. air strikes have been reported in several areas so civil casualties could increase in the coming days but as i said earlier uh, tdf uh, uh, officers uh, tplf uh, leaders they are very confident they are saying that uh, now ethiopian national defense forces cannot recover that tdf has inflicted so many losses on endf that it's almost impossible for endf to recover that's what happens viewers as i said earlier july is very crucial for ethiopia for tigray for the horn of africa i think for watching